Hey guys, what's up? Darcy here at Six Strings Nine Lives, back for another video. I guess this is kind of an unboxing, uh, unseal and reveal type of video of the six uh, out of the seven death albums uh, have just been reissued on Relapse Records here in 2020. They've had multiple reissues on, on most of these albums, you know, on CD or vinyl and uh, the originals are super hard to get. I saw these come up at, on a pre-order. Uh, a few reasons why I bought them. The price was ridiculously low, uh, in my opinion. I'll let you know uh, the prices I paid. It's not a, not a big deal. And, um, you know, I only had two out of these six on vinyl already. But I did pick up all six because I wanted all this cool pinwheel splatter vinyl. Um, the OCD kicked in and I said, you know, I might as well have all six and maybe the two I have on vinyl already, we can, uh, you know, ship them off to a good home or something like that in the future. We'll see. Anyways, I uh, became a huge fan of this band. Back in the day, I honestly didn't give a band like this the time of day. I thought it was uh, too extreme for me at the time. And little did I know how good, you know, these albums are. I, I am a huge fan, especially of the more progressive, I wouldn't even call it death metal. After, you know, once you get into the album Human, it is just, it's progressive. There's elements of thrash in there. There's everything. Um, Chuck was such a visionary. Uh, rest in peace, Chuck. Freaking awesome dude. I, uh, you know, sadly missed. Anyways, I thought I'd pick these up. This, <clears throat> we won't talk too much about the albums. I just want to show you them, what they look like. I haven't, uh, they all came very nicely packed in, in cardboard within a box, which is pretty cool. Nice and safe. I haven't looked inside yet. So as we go, it'll be the first time I've seen what the vinyl looks like. You know, I do enjoy black vinyl, but when a whole set comes out like this on, you know, something special like this, I'm... I just can't uh, pass it up and these prices. So we'll talk about that. So let's take a look at the first one. They all uh, scream bloody gore first uh, came out in 1987. Each one of these came in a bag like this and the record is in front, not in the sleeve, which is absolutely perfect. Then you don't have it bouncing around, causing seam splits uh, in the inner or the actual uh, jacket itself. So anyways, we will pull, and each one comes with a barcode like this. So this one is, yes, Death Scream Bloody Goer. It has the uh, clear vinyl with blood red pinwheel and splatter edition. Okay, cool. Uh, I see already they're in paper sleeves. It's not really a, a big deal considering the prices. This, this one was only $22 Canadian. So absolutely uh, pumped. At, at that so let's take a look at uh well, let's go for the cover first so here of course you know this legendary cover back front like i said first came out in 1987 oh we got a cool inner here this is awesome so there is all the shots there's chuck and sean <clears throat> basically the only two members uh of this band for this album anyways and this opens up like that so great job by relapse now let's take a look at that vinyl and like i said paper sleeve no big deal we will replace those now this is side a oh cool okay there is the vinyl and the center ring is red on this side and this side is a yellow very cool uh you know great album whether it's the uh started death metal people were will argue that and that's okay not a big deal okay next up 1988's leprosy again just came like that in these bags so i won't continue to tell you about those bags every time but we'll, uh, there is the uh, barcode and yes i did notice on the other one <clears throat> so the barcode is not on the back of these albums it's actually on this hype sticker what do we have here? We have clear vinyl with neon magenta pinwheel and splattered edition. Very cool. Let's have a look at the, oh, we'll do that. We'll do what we did. We'll do the cover first. You know, this legendary cover, Ed Repka artwork, absolutely awesome. 
there is the back great album still in really uh you know you know harsh themes and things like that really still into the what we death metal uh themes things like that but great album too and uh I did a ranking on these as a newer fan, you know, newer as in two, three year fan. I, uh, I really dig all these albums and I did a ranking. If you do want to check out that video, let's check out this vinyl. Oh, cool. This is awesome. That looks like my niece just dropped her ice cream on the pavement and, uh, <laughs> her looks like an ice cream sundae. That is pretty neat. Um, so we got, so it looks like on every one we got different colored center rings. This one's kind of a beige. And this one is a light blue on the B side. So that's what that one looks like. <clears throat> Next up from 1990, a fantastic album, Spiritual Healing. There is the pipe sticker. What do we got here? Custom pinwheel with splatter edition. <clears throat> All right. Oh, whoops, something's just fell out here. So it looks like we got a, there is a download uh, code for each album. I didn't even know that. So that's cool. Nice little touch. <clears throat> Let's pull this one out. Oh, awesome. Let's show you a side. Oh, nope, forgot. All right, there's the cover for Sp Spiritual Healing. Another Ed Rebka uh, cover, pretty darn cool. And uh, this is, it's not super shiny. It's just kind of, and it's not really, um, you know, textured or anything. It's just kind of flat, nice flat, uh, flat black on the back here. And there is the back cover. And I don't think I should, uh, sorry about that. I don't think I showed you the inner for spiritual healing. So we better catch up here and stay on track. Okay, so here's, sorry, leprosy. Here is the... Inner for leprosy, bunch of collage shots. So that's pretty cool. So if I open up that, it'll be a, a whole thing here. Oh, and I love this band shot right here. This is so cool. So that's the one side and that's, uh, we got, what do you got in here? Lyrics and everything. So very cool. Yeah. Chuck, Bill, Terry, Rick Ross, guitars. Yeah, super album. All right, let's stay on track here and make sure we show you these inners. So. And he's like I said, Ed Repka cover. There's the back. Pretty cool. And let's take a look at that inner. Okay, same kind of style. So we'll open up this whole, there's the whole collage photos there. And this is the spiritual healing lineup. Love those photos like that. There you go. Got the uh, Terry Butler, Bill on drums, Chuck, of course and james murphy on lead guitar fantastic album in my opinion that's the album where they you you could start to hear some you know some little things where the direction they would end up going on the next album uh human and i mean human's awesome too great album all right let's have a look at this vinyl very cool got a lot of clear in this one but that blue just pops that is pretty cool center ring is kind of a beige and then this is kind of a gray so in the back i like that they did that so they're staying consistent with that they're show um you know one color on one side one on the other pretty neat all right so that is spiritual healing from 1990 and then comes uh just a i don't want to reveal too much uh, for for my ranking but here comes a, a fantastic album just love this one and like I said, if you do want to check out my ranking and kind of a point of view from a newer, you know, like I said, a newer fan. Okay, there's that bar barcode thing again. All right, from 19, um, sorry, this one is from 1991. This is Human. Very cool. And I do have this one on black vinyl. And I play it quite often. Sounds great. Here's the back. You know these songs, you know these albums. If you're watching this video, you probably know the band Death. And if you don't, go check out some of this stuff. It's awesome. There is one of the best cover. I'm I'm not the biggest covers guy around, but I do enjoy a good cover. One where it's, you know, 
their own. They make it their own. And God of Thunder, kit, uh, Kiss cover on here, absolutely uh, blows me away every time. I just want to crank it as loud as I can. The guitar tone on it is out of this world. Uh, yeah. So let's take a look at the inner. We showed you the back already. Yeah, I'm really liking these collage, what they've done here with all this. And as you know, with Death, there's been a lineup change forever. There hasn't been an album where there's, you know, the same lineup. Uh, Chuck had the ability to surround, surround himself with really good players, really good people. And when you do that, you're bound to be successful in life or, um, in this case, in the music business. And there is the lineup for Human. So we got Paul Mastival. Chuck, of course, Sean Reinhardt on drums, Steve DiGiorgio on bass. Very cool. Rest in peace, Sean Reinhardt. All right, now we'll take a look at the vinyl for Human. And did I read you that bag? No, I didn't. That bag says clear vinyl with bone white pinwheel and splatter. <clears throat> okay, let's see what that looks like. All right, here is a side. Okay, so we have a lot of uh, a lot of clear on this one too, and you know, I there's there's no way that two of these are are the same. These are you know they're pressed individually, obviously, um, but I you know I I've seen some other videos. I'd have to kind of compare what mine looked like with with theirs, but anyways, um, okay, so human is a oh this this time they did not change the colors on, so that is kind of a a tan or. A, you know, a beige center ring, and then the same on this side for this one. Very cool. Death Human. Great album. Next up is Individual Thought Patterns from 1993. And let's take a look at this bag. There's the hype sticker. Clear vinyl with white pin wheels and splattered edition, it says. Okay, awesome. So, like I said, I, and this is... This is the second one that I do have on black vinyl. I think it's a reissue from maybe 2017. Sounds awesome too. But here is the cover for individual thought patterns. I love the artwork for some of this stuff. It's like, all actually all the albums have great artwork. And there's the back cover. And this one, you know, I, like I said, I do have a copy on black vinyl. That one is was kind of read, readily available the one that you could never find is, is the last one I'll show you, is Sound, Sound of Perseverance. You could get the, um, I think it was a 30th anniversary or um, edition with some extra stuff, but I just did not want the extra stuff. I wanted just the album, so I'm glad I waited that out. All right, here's what this inner looks like. Here's this side, and the back is actually the lyrics on that, but I can pull it all out for you like that. And in the middle... Oh, what a picture this is. I just, man, this would be so cool to have on a t-shirt or on your wall. I mean, look at that. You got Andy LaRock on guitars, uh, Gene Hoagland on drums, the mighty Chuck, Steve DiGiorgio on bass. I mean, what a lineup and, and what an album, really. It's just fantastic. Let's take a look at the vinyl for individual thought patterns. These are, these are really cool. I'm, I'm glad I got the whole set. Uh, I you know, Like I said earlier in the video, I don't think that o, uh, OCD could live with uh, uh, not having two of them. But here is the center ring for this. Nice brown. And here's what the vinyl looks like. So we got a lot of white, some pinks in there, some, some splatter going on. And this center ring, <laughs> the picture I just showed you is unreal, fantastic. Look at that. That is worth the price of admission. And I told you I was going to tell you some of these prices. So every one of these that I've shown you so far were listed at $22 Canadian. I thought that was a steal. Uh, paid a little bit more for Sound of Perseverance, only $27. Now, since I've checked some of these prices, uh, four out of six of these have jumped up to only $24 but two of them have doubled doubled in price. Sound of Perseverance is already up to $51. Uh, 
and Scream Bloody Gory, as I wrote it down, I think it was it's up to $44. So it's actually doubled in price. So I'm glad I picked them up when I did. And last of this set, which is their seventh album. Their sixth album is not in the set. I'm listening to it in the background. Uh, very low, you won't hear it. But uh, Symbolic was not part of the uh, of this set. Now, Roadrunner, that, that album originally came out on Roadrunner. Metal Blade has the rights to it now. So maybe, you know, maybe Metal Blade sees this and, and does some sort of, you know, splatter reissue or something. The reissue I have back here is from, um, I think it's 2014. It's just white vinyl. It's very well done. I mean, I can grab it here. <clears throat> so if you are interested in kind of completing your set, and uh, here is that and it's on white vinyl metal blade reissue from yes 2014 it is it's very well done and it's like i said all white vinyl so maybe you can add your own splatter if you want anyways let's show you the last one we won't want to keep you too long absolutely love this album album and i i um, was definitely looking to get this on vinyl and i think the reason it's a little bit more this is a double one so there is the sticker, and this one says Custom Pinwheels with Splatter Edition, so that's pretty cool. Now, and again, oh, what do we got here? Okay, so I got both vinyl. Let's see if there is an inner in here. Yes, there is just one. So let's show you the whole thing first. So this is um, originally, so this is kind of an updated cover. Artwork by Travis Smith. So Travis wanted a chance to, from what I've read and, and know about this, Travis wanted to re redo this cover. So this is not the original, but you know, obviously very close. Travis Smith has done work for the, uh, you know, bands like the likes of Overkill. Uh, great artwork by Travis. There is the back. So we got, you know, obviously four sides on here. Yes, we do, no etch side. And this album originally came out in 1998. Look at that gatefold, very cool. Who we got here? We got yeah, Shannon uh, Ham on guitar, Chuck Scott Clendon, uh, Clendon on bass, Richard Christie on drums. Yeah, Richard Christie is a monster drummer, absolutely. Uh, you know, love stuff that he's done. Chardwald is a damned, stuff like that. Okay, let's see what we got here. Awesome photos here, very cool. Oh, that is awesome. There's the back. And there is uh, lyrics. Yep, yeah, lyrics and notes, very cool. You know what, I always, uh, I'm quirky and I pick out weird things here and there, but I always like, you know, that Chuck held his guitar higher up you know kind of like a like glenn tipton you know i just thought it was cool and then got you got guys that you know some few bass players that got them slung way down low and you know you you listen to this type of music uh and you, you know you, you love looking at things like that the guitars and the whole setup and uh, anyways we'll stay on track here let's take a look at the vinyl so there's two here so we'll go aside a first showed you everything there oh wow that is pretty cool let's <clears throat> so there is one nice pinwheel splatter center ring and it looks like these center rings are just the same on these very cool sound of perseverance I mean <clears throat> what an album this is probably um a Moment of Clarity is one of my all-time favorite death songs. And there's an absolutely crushing rendition of Judas Priest Painkiller on here. So I think there's, what, only two covers on any of these albums. I mean, God of Thunder and Painkiller. Uh, two wicked songs to cover. And here is the final one. Ooh, we've got a lot of static here. I will replace these paper sleeves anyways. Now that is pretty neat. Got some... Uh, serious black on here this looks like a pretty cool uh rim for your car wouldn't that be neat have some death rims on your vehicle 
<laughs> Anyways, here is the uh, centering on that one. And the back is very similar to the front, obviously, but we got a little more color here in the, the clear part. So we'll turn that the right side up. So very glad to have these in the collection. If you want to go check them out, you know, and if you're interested, I would say get on it soon. Like I said, two of these um, here in Canada. Anyways, I can't speak for other parts of the world with Amazon. And uh, re really, for me, it was, it's my only way where I live, kind of remote, rural area, uh, to get these. Uh, I do support my local record shops. Absolutely, I do when I can. And uh, if he if he if he was able to get these, I would have bought them there. But uh, and I didn't want to miss out on them either. So. Anyways, so that's kind of a, you know, a unboxing, first look type of thing. So, but there are six fantastic albums. And, you know, like I said, maybe Metal Blade will jump on the bus and put out a nice reissue for uh, people to complete their set. Uh, doesn't bother me that much that they're, you know, it's, it's only one. So whatever. But anyways, until next time, stay heavy.